I think that there is such a thing as Jewish music. There, it's music that is deeply based in um, in in Jewish practice in life, and um, I think I'm certainly certainly drawing from my Jewish history and my Jewish roots in my performances um, and in my recordings. In my group Divan, we perform music, uh, really interpretations of traditional Sephardic and Mizrahi music, that's um, Jewish music from the Middle East and North Africa. And um, I have this new project called The Naming, and there's songs that I've composed um, inspired by the stories of uh, biblical women, and the songs are written in, in Hebrew and in Aramaic and in Arabic and Persian. <laughs> to engage with this project and sing some of the texts from the Bible, from the Talmud, from the Midrash, is that it's really not a domain that women have been a part of, especially in the Sephardi Mizrahi world. And to me it was completely natural because I grew up in a synagogue where men and women had equal roles. It was an Ashkenazi synagogue. So for me to make the transition and start singing Persian religious music seemed totally natural. I did, it didn't occur to me at the time that I was kind of doing something um, slightly revolutionary in singing, you know, these these religious texts as a woman, but in the Persian style. <laughs> to expose people to the fact that these cultures had always, um, you know, existed together and that it, that uh, Jewish and, you know, um, Arab or Jewish and Muslim, that they actually, um, they're, they're not two things that, that have always been separate. In fact, you know, there's a, there's a really, really strong history of shared culture. And so that was really important for me um, and, and continues to be important for me in all of the I would say in all of the music that um, that I both write and um, and arrange. <laughs> 